five things I wish I knew when I started playing harmonica. Hey, Liam Ward here at learntheharmonica.com. I'm going to give you the top things that I wish I had known when I was just starting out as a harmonica player. Now, these are all important, but they're kind of a rough rundown to the most important at the end. Number one, breath control is everything. Now, the best players, even when they're playing fast, running around the stage, really complex melodies, they're incredibly relaxed. So if you want to be able to play, you need to be able to control your breath in and out gently. Now, as a beginner, you're probably going to be going, <gasps> heaving, not breathing. We've got to switch that and get you breathing instead of heaving. That is crucial and it's going to make a big difference to your ability to play. Number two, there's no universal tab system. Now you'll be looking on the internet how to learn songs and you'll come across different tablature that tells you how to find the notes on the instrument. Unfortunately, there's no single tab system that everybody uses. So if you take the four blow, for example, you could write that in loads of different ways. It might just be a number four, it might be a four with a plus, it might be an arrow symbol as well, and you never know what you're going to get. I use probably the most common system, simply positive numbers for blow, negative numbers for draw. The other thing to bear in mind is that the tabs aren't always right. So all across the internet you'll find lots of different people, well-meaning people, telling you how to play things, and often they're wrong. Take a website like Harp Tabs. Anyone can put a tab up, so it's not always going to be right, even if it's well-meaning. We all make mistakes, I do too. If you'd like hundreds of free tabs, check out the link in the description to my website where you can learn blues, pop, rock, country, folk songs, absolutely free. Number three. The whole numbers are not going to help you. So you'll see numbers 1 to 10 written on your instrument. And that can help you at first to get your bearings. And of course, in a tab system, it's going to tell you the holes. But what you don't want to do is rely on your eyes. You don't want to be looking at the instrument as you go towards it, because one, you're not going to find the right hole probably because by the time it gets under your nose you're not going to be able to see it, however small your nose is. But more importantly, you're learning to use your eyes rather than your ears. Your ears are the most important tool you can have as a harmonica player. So learn to trust what you're hearing rather than thinking about what you're seeing. Number four. You are only one part of the pie. You're just one ingredient in the music. So, learn to play rhythmic stuff, chugging, bass lines, things that can fit in with the band. And don't play the whole time. Maybe play fills or play something subtle. It's very tempting when you play a, a solo instrument like we do to just want to play all over the thing, but Musicians should learn to be part of the bigger picture. Music is about adding different ingredients, just like a recipe is about adding different ingredients. Remember that, and other musicians will like you a whole lot more. And number five, perfection does not exist. Now, we all start playing music because of a love of it, but we can really get bogged down into the nitty gritty of learning the instrument or becoming perfect. Now, there's no such thing. The biggest thing that I can say to you as a beginner is please, please keep that idealism, that enthusiasm you have as a beginner. Music is about connecting, sharing, coming together as people, creating something bigger than the sum of the parts. It's not about being a robot. It's not about virtuosity. It's not about being the best. There's no such thing. So keep your enthusiasm. Keep that love of music in you as you progress. It's the biggest and best tool you have against cynicism, pessimism, ignorance and hate. 
Whoa, we just got deep there. Okay, let's bring it back. If you'd like to learn more about the harmonica, but you're just not sure where to go next, check out my online harmonica school. I've helped thousands of students all around the world of all different levels to improve their harmonica playing. You can get a free 30-day trial starting today by checking the link in the description. Tell me what things you're finding out as a beginner harmonica player in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. Until I see you again, cheers.